Welcome, everybody. I ask that you can be seated. Reverend clergy, platform guests, parents, friends, graduates, good afternoon. My name is Daniela Coyne, and I have the honor and privilege to serve this class, this school, and this great community as principal of Breton Education Center. Before we begin, I ask that everyone present join me by observing a moment of silence to remember those who are not here with us today whether it be a classmate, a friend, a teacher, or a family member. This moment of reflection and remembrance will allow us to include those who aren't here with us as part of today's celebration.
Thank you. And now welcome to each of you, the Breton Education Center graduation class of 2018. A graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals obtained, and the acknowledgement of successes achieved. So it is only fitting that tonight we commemorate the road that we all have traveled together these last few years. It has been a journey that started with tentative steps, perhaps, but one that has taken us to rem remarkable heights. We have encountered some trials and tribulations along the way, soldiered on, and came out the stronger for them. We have experienced exceptional moments, magical moments, and created memories that will be fondly remembered in years to come. Henry Ford wisely said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is success. As we look back over the last few years, certainly there has been a beginning, and thank thankfully there have been progress along the way, and yes, undeniably, we have all been successful. At this time, I would like to thank several individuals who without them, this celebration would not be possible. Mr. Kevin Kearney and Mr. Ronnie Carew, I want to express my sincere appreciation to both of you being the most superb school administration I've ever known. Your leadership, heart, and commitment is remarkable and inspiring. I know many other parents and students feel the same way, even though we might often forget to tell you how much we appreciate you. Thank you again for your wise and strong leadership. Our school is definitely a better place because of you. Together, also the teachers of Breton Education Center, who have proven time and time again and shown your continued dedication, hard work, and the to devotion of the success of your students. We thank all of you for your continued efforts. We are all ably backed by our school support staff. We must not forget their amazing work, making sure we have food, heat, lights, technology, security, and a clean environment. They also take time to talk and build relationships with our school community, which makes all of our days seem a little bit better. To the parents, it's hard to watch your children struggle through the process of self-discovery. There is anxiety, there's frustration, there's fear, and there's worry, which undoubtedly you have shared with each of your children at one time or another. Your children's success today is your success. Thank you to each of you and every one of you. Lastly, most importantly, you, the graduates. You made it. There is something about the struggle that is instructive and inspiring. At times, your knees may have been shaking, your voices may have quivered, your palms may have been sweaty, but you did it. That shows undeniable growth that is required, skills and courage, the kind that will you will use in your life to pursue happiness. Sometimes you have to stretch outside your comfort zone and struggle a bit to reach them, but remember, they are within your grasp. Congratulations to the graduates, and it's because of you that we are all here today. I'm very pleased to welcome you all to the 48th graduation exercises of Breton Education Center. I shall, I shall start the graduation exercises this evening by calling on, Re on Reverend Jim Oliver from Holy Family Parish to offer the invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, blessed are you, Lord our God, for you begin all things and bring them to completion. At the dawn of creation, you created all things and placed this earth under our care. You sent your Son, Jesus, to be the way, the truth, and the life, and through the gift of the Holy Spirit, guide our way to the glory of your kingdom. We praise you for our students, our graduates, who have guided, who have been guided to this proud moment. As we celebrate their graduation, we ask you to continue your gracious guidance in their lives. Open new doors and lead them to marvel at the wonders of creation and of life. May your spirit help them to see their many gifts and teach them how to share these gifts in your school, in your church, in your community for the benefit of others. Continue to bless the school and all who dwell within. 
and grant that we may always rejoice in your gift of love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Alba. I would now like to introduce our stage guests, but I ask that you hold your applause until we've, they've all been introduced. So starting on my left, your right, <laughs> I ask to stand as I call out his or her name. Mr. Kevin Kearney, Vice Principal. Ms. Sandra Burke, Cape Breton Victoria Center of Education. Haley Oliver, our, sorry, our co-president. Behind me, we have Julianne Reed, our salutatorian. Next, we have Courtney DeJobi, our valedictorian. Logan Jewers, also co-president. Father Reverend Oliver, Father Oliver. Mr. Ronnie Carew, Vice Principal, and Constable Dan McGilvery, our School Liaison Officer. I now ask Mrs. Tina White from our French Department to introduce our salutatorian for the Class of 2018. <coughs> Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, parents, guardians, administrators, staff, and special guests. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Breton Education Center's 2018 Salutatorian. This student has proven herself to be a student leader throughout her years here at Breton Education Center. Not only has she maintained excellent academic standing, in the Integrated French program every year since grade seven, but she has also excelled in sports, playing on Beck's AAA basketball and soccer teams throughout her years with us, as well as participating in softball. This student manages her time very well, balancing her schoolwork with her extracurricular activities, which are many. She plays the saxophone in the high school music program and is also a member of Beth's Jazz Band. She coaches youth in the community, as well as volunteering time at Loaves and Fishes and the Italian Community Center. Her excellent time management skills allowed her to maintain a part-time job at Sobeys uh, throughout her grade 12 year, and if you pull into the Bayside Canteen this summer, you'll probably uh, see her waiting on you. A young entrepreneur, she made and beautifully decorated cupcakes as well as her famous lobster suckers, which she sold at the school as well as to tourists as far away as Bedeck to raise money for her senior year trips. When I think of some qualities that best describe this student, honesty, integrity, and independent worker come to mind. She is a very friendly young lady who has made many friends in and out of school, and she is a great example of what a successful student here at Breton Education Center must do to achieve. We know that her success will continue with the same energy, determination, and enthusiasm as she pursues her nursing degree while playing soccer at the university level for the University of Prince Edward Island. It is my great pleasure that I present to you our 2018 salutatorian, Julie Ann Reed. Good afternoon. My name is Julie Ann Reed, and it is my honor to extend a warm welcome to parents, family, friends, teachers, and my fellow classmates to the 2018 Breton Education Center graduation ceremonies. As we celebrate the end of high school, we look forward to the beginning of the next chapter in our lives. 
Walking through the elementary school doors, we began a 13-year journey that is now coming to a close. As I think back to September in 2012, when we first arrived at Beth, I know most of us were terrified. We couldn't imagine today would come so quickly, but here we are. Along the way, we faced and overcame different obstacles, from learning to tie our shoes and to tell time, to memorizing things like calculus and physics. We have all made unexpected friends and grown apart from some that we thought would last a lifetime. Games were lost, games were won. Colbo was canceled, only to return to national headlines and appear on America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> the academic and life lessons we've learned throughout the years have prepared us for future success. I'm fortunate enough to have amazing people in my corner. They accept me for who I am and push me to be the best that I can be. I want all my classmates to look around, find your family, your friends, and your teachers. These are the people who support you, help you, and love you. As you walk across the stage today, imagine how proud and happy they are for you. To quote Michael Scott from The Office, the only time I set the bar low is to limbo. So find your passion and follow your dreams. Always set the bar high and realize what you are capable of. Surround yourself with positive people and be a positive person. Thank you on behalf of all of the graduates and welcome to the graduation ceremony of the Breton Education Center Class of 2018. Congratulations, Julian. I will now call upon Mr. Mike McSween, Social Studies Department Head, to award the graduation diplomas. Presenting will be Vice Principal Ronnie Carew and Vice Principal Kevin Kearney, and assisting is Susan Campbell from the Social Studies Department and Coralie McKenzie from the Science Department. Welcome and good afternoon, students, parents, guardians, teachers, platform guests, and graduates. We're very proud of our graduates' hard work and academic accomplishments over the past six years here at Breton Education Center. Graduates, as you reach this milestone in your lives, we congratulate you and wish you all the best in your future. The aim of the public schools in Nova Scotia is to provide in partnership with the home and the community a sound education for students to enable them to develop their potential and acquire knowledge, skills, attitudes needed for students to become healthy, respectful, caring, and productive citizens. Our graduates this year have completed 13 years of schooling, and more specifically, over the course of the past three years, they've completed at least 18 high school credits. A credit is awarded upon the successful completion of approved courses that would normally be completed in 110 hours of class time. Although the min minimum number of credits required for graduation is 18, students are allowed and encouraged to complete up to 24 credits in high school, as many of our gradu graduates have done. The 77 graduates appearing on stage this afternoon have worked very hard to fulfill these requirements. In addition, we have eight students graduating with a high school diploma uh, and an Options and Opportunities Certificate. Options and Opportunities, or O2, is a comprehensive three-year program open to all students that deliver the regular high school courses, as well as a variety of other school activities. The program prepares students to either enter the workforce directly or for post-secondary education through training, certification, connections to the real world. Students get hands-on experience in increased opportunity-based learning, such as co-op credits, service learning, and may include other opportunities, such as pre-apprenticeship. O2 gives the students a head start on developing skills that employers need. 
Furthermore, at Breton Education Centre, we are very fortunate and pleased to offer students the opportunity to, opportunity to further their studies in French. We recognize the students from our 2018 graduating class who have successfully completed a six-year integrated French program. Ten students will be acknowledged for their outstanding accomplishments in the integrated French program and will receive an integrated French certificate as well. In order to obtain a French certificate upon graduation, these students will have completed a three-year junior high integrated French program, as well as three secondary level French language uh, credits, arts credits, and three other subjects credits delivered in French. Finally, the integrated French students this year have taken the DELF exam. DELF is a diploma in French language skills, or French language studies. The exam is designed to test the student's ability to understand, speak, read, and write French. It is a certification of French language abilities organized and regulated by the National Ministry of Education of France. Students receiving O2 certificates, integrated French certificates, and DELF diplomas will be recognized as they receive their Nova Scotia graduation diploma. We will now begin the presentation of the graduation diplomas for the class of 2018. Marcus Christopher Seth Allen. Madison Grace O'Point. Kyra Lynn Baker. Holly Marie Beaton. Sophia Barbara Marine Beck in absentia. Brett Dwight Binder. Jessica Lynn Boom. Carly Nicole Brown, also receiving an integrated French certificate and a diploma in French language studies. Alyssa Shea Burns. Dawson Riley Burns in absentia. Sarah Margaret Burns. Dawson Bradley Cameron in absentia. Joshua Thomas Cameron. Samuel Patrick Campbell. Daniel Patrick Chesson. Hannah Marie Kosh.
Courtney Eden Curry. Brandon Stephen Daphne. <laughs> Courtney Rose to Joby. On scene. Joanna Catherine DiGiovi. Jackson Joseph DeVoe. Duncan Dimler. Kendra Nicole Donahue, also receiving an integrated French certificate. <laughs> Liam Derek Donahue. John Christopher Dublé, also receiving an, options, an opportunity certificate. James <laughs> Christina Duke. Leslie Ann Marie Feener. James Cody Frazier. Samuel Blair Gallant in absentia. Brittany Marie Gottwall in absentia. Mitchell Patrick Griffin in absentia. Kale Bradley Gio. Carson Roger Gio. Tennyson Michael Hearn. John Charles Honeycamp. Jordan Tyler Hennessy, also receiving an integrated French certificate and a diploma in French language studies. Victoria Irene Hogan. Tristan Ernest Francis Hurley. <laughs> J. 
Justin Martin Jewer. Logan William Jewer on C. I will now ask the Department of Science Darnell Young to come up and complete the list. Rebecca Page Kelly. <laughs> Zaida Corey in absentia. <laughs> T. Min Lei. Rihanna Isabel McDonald, and I was also receiving an integrated French certificate. Kyle Alexander McGuinness. I was also receiving an Options and Opportunities certificate. Carly Mikhail McNeil. <laughs> Liam Aloysius Marsh in absentia. Diamond River Marshall. Results receiving an options and opportunities certificates. Tyler Michael Martell. Myrna Mattioli. Bria Nicole McKinnon. <laughs> Kelly Ann McKinnon. Is also receiving an integrated French certificate and a diploma in French language studies. Haley Marie Miller. Mark Jeremy Morrison. Alyssa Catherine Hope Nickerson. <laughs> Trey William O'Flaherty. <laughs> Trey will also be receiving an options and opportunity certificate.
Robert Thomas Odo. Haley Michelle Oliver. Wolofsky receiving an integrated French certificate and a diploma in French language studies. Olivia Margaret Elaine Parsons. Brandon Robert Pearson. Cameron Gordon Pearson in absentia. Hannah Francine Petrie. Hannah will also be receiving an integrated French certificate and a diploma in French language studies. Julie Ann Reed. Julie Ann will also be receiving an integrated French certificate and a diploma in French language studies. Joshua Robert Ross. <laughs> Mitchell Joseph Rutledge. Dominique and Ryan. <laughs> Tyler Joseph Sampson. Paige Hope Sandstrom. <laughs> Samuel James Stacy. Margaret Lauren Stapleton. John Michael Alexander Sudworth. Will also be receiving an options and opportunity certificate. Anthony Oswald Ty. Will also be receiving an options and opportunity certificate. Preston Din Daniel Ty, who will also be receiving the options and opportunities for the Thank you. Thank you. Rebecca Lynn Usher in absentia. Daniel Richard Bashir Viva in absentia. Darcy Elizabeth Williams in absentia. 
and Jocelyn Elizabeth Wilson. The law school receiving an integrated French certificate and a diploma in French language studies. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2018. Congratulations, graduates. At this time, I would ask any of the graduates who are members of the band to join the band down back. The Breton Education Center Band, under the direction of Mr. Stephen Muse and Richard Burke, will perform selections from the Lion King.
I will now call upon our co-presidents, Haley Oliver and Logan Jewer, for their student council report. Good afternoon, parents and guardians, teachers, students, special guests, and last, but certainly not least, the graduating class of 2018. My name is Logan Jewell. And my name is Haley Oliver. We are the student co-presidents for this school year. Firstly, we would like to welcome you all to the 2018 Breton Education Center graduation exercises. As you can tell, we are both in grade 12 but I guess that's about to change in a very short amount of time. Our years spent at Beck have included some of the best moments of our lives. On our first day here, as students from three different schools, this moment seemed like a very long time away. We barely even knew each other, let alone talk to one another. We've definitely come a long way from then. Together, we've seen the end of Beck dances, the beginning of the dreaded attendance policy, a cold bowl of victory, and the senior high girls soccer team finally winning provincials. We've seen the end of Mr. McDonald and the wrath of Miss O'Coin. <laughs> Just kidding, love you, Miss. Also, we've learned that Beck Gym is not only a great home for the birds, but also a great place for a slip and slide. I know to many others, some of these things may seem ridiculous, but to myself and my fellow graduates, these are the memories that we will cherish forever. As co-presidents, we would like to send lots of thanks to the teachers for dealing with all of our missed time this year, since we were called down to the office every single day, even during exams. <laughs> Speaking on behalf of the grad class, we would like to say that every single one of our teachers and administrative staff has made an impact on our lives that we will never forget. Thank you so much for helping shape us into who we are today. We will remember all, of, all you have taught us throughout our time here, and will continue to carry the life lessons we've learned in the years to come. We would like to thank the grads for helping to give us the opportunity to serve as co-presidents and putting up with our many posts in the Facebook group. At the start of the year, we never imagined the time would fly by like a dish. Planning grad events and activities was unbelievably fun with a grad class like you. We were both honored to be your co-presidents, and we hope that we made your final year at Beck a little more enjoyable. Although we may be going our separate ways, and it seems like the end, I'd like to think it is only a new beginning. Today is the same as the day we made the transition from our elementary schools to Beck. We were scared and nervous, but also excited for what lied ahead, just as we are right now. Therefore, we know already that there is nothing to fear, and only a bigger and brighter future is to come. As Dr. Seuss said, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Now, with that being said, we would like to finish this up, get on our way, and thank you for all attending today. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Thank you for all of the wonderful memories. Thank you, Haley and Logan. As in past years, the citizens of New Waterford and surrounding area have been most generous in the support of the Scholarship Awards Trust Fund. And so, in the next little while, we'll be announcing a total of $346,915 that will be awarded to several graduates today. This amount, yes. This amount is a reflection of both the generosity of the donors and the accomplishments of our graduates this year. It is important to point out that the Scholastic Awards Committee does not control all of the funds being awarded today. Large portions of today's awards are being awarded by universities and organizations, and these funds are independent of those awarded by the school. 
Funds controlled by the Scholastic Awards Committee are awarded proportionally in accordance with the graduation rank list at Breton Education Centre. I would like now to publicly thank, on behalf of the graduates and the directors of the Trust, all those who generously gave to the fund. I would also like to thank the members of the Scholastic Awards Committee who have the onerous task of disseminating these awards to our graduates this evening, a task which takes many hours and requires a great deal of hard work. The scholarships, bursaries and awards will be announced in alphabetical order with the exception of the top 10 ranked students who will receive their awards in descending order from 10 to 1. Reading the list will be Heather Kearney, English Department Head, and Colin Campbell, Math Department Head. As the graduates hear their name, I would ask that you stand at your seat and face forward so we can get the spotlight and camera on you and remain standing until the list of awards you are receiving is completed. Marcus Christopher Seth Allen. A $150 scholarship donated by Basil and Lorraine McGilvery, the Ralph Corbett Memorial Bursary valued at $500, and the William Jones Memorial Scholarship of $400. As some of these are pretty lengthy, if you could hold your applause till the end of the list, that'll say, probably save some time. Uh, Kyra Lynn Baker, a $500 bursary donated by the Rotary Club of New Waterford, a no Nova Scotia Community College Entrance Award valued at $3,315. Holly Marie Beaton, a scholarship of $1,000 in memory of T. Lawler McDonald. In absentia, Sophia Barbara Maureen Beck, a CBRM scholarship of $200. Brett Dwight Binder, the Vince Ryan Memorial Hockey Tournament Scholarship of $500 and a $500 bursary in memory of Cody Burke from Sandra, Joe, Nicholas, and Catherine Burke. <laughs> Jessica Lynn Boone. The Conlon Klinger McIntyre Memorial Scholarship of $150. Sister Agnes DeSale Zita Garnier Memorial Scholarship of $250, Edith McIntyre Memorial Award of $100, a Beck Faculty Award of $1,500, and a Cape Breton University Entrance Scholarship of $2,000 per year over four years for a total of $8,000. Alyssa Shea Burns, the Ralph Corbett Memorial Bursary valued at $500, the New Waterford Army, Navy and Air Force Unit 217 Bursary of $200, a CBRM Scholarship of $300, and a Beck Faculty Award of $300. In absentia, Dawson Riley Burns, the Dads for Grads Bursary in memory of Trevor Ledbeater, valued at $200. <laughs> Samuel Patrick Campbell, a CBRM scholarship of $200. Courtney Eden Curry, the New Waterford Pensioners Club Scholarship valued at $100, a scholarship in memory of Donna Romard of $100, Mount Carmel 60s Reunion Bursary of $100, and a Beck Faculty Award of $1,300. <laughs> Brandon Stephen Daphne, an award of $200 donated by the Hurley family in memory of their parents, Tom and Mary.
Jackson Joseph DeVoe, the Timmy McKinnon Bursary, valued at $300, the Kinsman Club of New Waterford, an area Kin Memorial Bursary, valued at $500, a $500 scholarship in memory of Michelle Curtis, the Dads for Grads Bursary in memory of Trevor Ledbeater, valued at $500, and Master Meets Golf Tournament Scholarship of $300. Duncan Dindler, a Beck Faculty Award of $250. <laughs> Kendra Nicole Donahue, the Gordon Photographic Limited Scholarship of $300. <laughs> Liam Derrick Donahue, Coral Superior Sausage Co Company Limited Scholarship of $200, the New Waterford Credit Union Scholarship, valued at $500, the Ralph Corbett Memorial Bursary, valued at $500, Reverend Frank Morley and Reverend Frank McIsaac, $150 scholarship, and the 2018 Nova Scotia Power Trade Scholarship of $1,000. Sean Christopher Dublé, the New Waterford Army, Navy, and Air Force, Unit 217 Bursary of $200. Paige Christina Duke, an Ocean Fuels Limited Bursary of $100, the Timmy McKinnon Bursary valued at $300, the New Waterford Credit Union Scholarship valued at $500, a $500 scholarship donated by the Rotary Club of New Waterford, a $500 scholarship in memory of Michelle Curtis, and the New Waterford Golf Society Golf Tournament Scholarship of $2,500. <laughs> Leslie Ann Marie Feener, the Lions Udovan Scholarship of $500, and a Beck Faculty Award of $1,300. Kale Bradley Geo, the Tom Laney Memorial Scholarship donated by the New Victoria Fire Department, valued at $175. The Kiwanis Golden K Scholarship of $1,000. An Ocean Fuels Limited Bursary of $100. The Reverend Duncan and Charlotte Roach Scholarship of $250, a $1,000 bursary donated by the Rotary Club of New Waterford, a $750 Master Meets Golf Tournament Scholarship, and a Cape Breton University Entrance Scholarship valued at $1,000 per year over four years for a total of $4,000. <laughs> Carson Roger Gio. The Tom Laney Memorial Scholarship donate, donated by the New Victoria Fire Department, valued at $175. The Kiwanis Golden K Scholarship of $1,000. An Ocean Fuels Limited Bursary of $100. The Reverend Duncan and Charlotte Roach Scholarship of $250. A $1,000 bursary donated by the Rotary Club of New Waterford. And a $750 scholarship donated by Master Meats and Darren Vallis. Tennyson Michael Hearn, a CDRN scholarship of $200. Jordan Tyler Hennessy, a scholastic award of $1,000 in memory of Mary Catherine K. McKinnon, a scholarship in memory of Phyllis Laney, valued at $1,000, and a Cape Breton University Residence Award of $4,500. Victoria Irene Hogan, the St. Anthony Daniel Council 3209 Knights of Columbus Scholarship, valued at $500, the Dads for Grads Bursary in memory of Trevor Ledbeater, valued at $200, and a CBRM scholarship of $200. <laughs> Justin Martin Jewer, 
the 2018 Nova Scotia Power Trades Scholarship of $1,000, a scholarship of $200 in memory of Joe and Madeline Laney, Frank J. Ongo Memorial Scholarship of $100, Sean McDonald Memorial Scholarship of $100, and a Beck Faculty Award of $1,500. Logan William Dewar, the William Jones Memorial Scholarship of $400, and the Ben Buffett Road Race Scholarship of $500. <laughs> Rebecca Page Kelly, the Ralph Corbett Memorial Bursary valued at $500, the New Waterford Army, Navy, and Air Force, Unit 217 Bursary, $200. A CBRM scholarship of $200. And the big one, an award provided by the Canadian Coast Guard College covering the cost of tuition, room and board, textbooks, and uniforms over four years, valued at over $80,000. In absentia, Zaida Khoury, a Beck Faculty Award of $250. T. Min Lei, a Beck Faculty Award of $500. Kyle Alexander McGuinness, a $500 bursary donated by the Rotary Club of New Waterford and a Master Meets Golf Tournament Scholarship of $750. Carly Mikkel McNeil, an Ocean Fuels Limited Bursary of $100, the Timmy McKinnon Bursary valued at $300, a $500 scholarship in memory of Michelle Curtis, and a Nova Scotia Teachers Union Cape Breton District Local Scholarship of $400. Tyler Michael Martel. The Ralph Corbett Memorial Bursary valued at $500, a CBRM scholarship of $400, Frankie Morrison scholarship of $150, and a Beck Faculty Award of $250. Marta Mattioli. A Beck Faculty Award of $500. Bria Nicole McKinnon, the Cody Burke Memorial Bursary donated by members of the Moran family in the amount of $400, and in the Waterford Army, Navy, and Air Force Unit 217 Bursary of $200. Trey William O'Flaherty, the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 15 Alan McDonald Bursary valued at $1,000. Robert Thomas Odo, the Dads for Grads Bursary in Memory of Trevor Ledbeater, valued at $200. <laughs> Olivia Margaret Elaine Parsons, an award of $200 donated by Wayne and Claire Hurley in memory of Larry Parsons. <laughs> Brandon Robert Pearson, the Don't Stop Believing Bursary in Memory of Gordy Quigley, valued at $500. <laughs> Joshua Robert Ross. The Dads for Grads Bursary in Memory of Trevor Ledbeater, valued at $200. A Master Meets Golf Tournament Scholarship of $750. A Scholarship of $400, donated by Wayne Hurley. And a Beck Faculty Award of $1,400. Mm -hmm. 
Mitchell Joseph Rutledge. A King's College Athletic Scholarship of $1,000 and a King's College Entrance Scholarship in the amount of $1,500. Dominique Ann Ryan. The Royal Canadian Legion Branch 15 Allen McDonald Bursary valued at $1,000. The Dominion Community Hawks Club Scholarship of $200. A Beck Faculty Award of $1,300. And a Community College Trade School Award for African Nova Scotian students in the amount of $1,800. Tyler Joseph Sampson, a CBRM scholarship of $200. Samuel James Stacy, the Dads for Grads bursary in memory of Trevor Leadbeater, valued at $200. Margaret Lauren Stapleton, the Timmy McKinnon Bursary valued at $300. The Beck Band Parents Auxiliary Bursary valued at $500. The Dorothy Dean Wilkinson Scholarship donated by the Qantas Festival of Music, Speech, and Drama valued at $1,000. A $200 scholarship donated by the Waterford and Area Retired Teachers Association in memory of Sister Mary Ann Chesson. The Ida Schwartz Award for Music in the amount of $100. A Mount Allison University Cape Breton Scholarship of $3,000 and a Mount Allison University Entrance Scholarship of $2,000 per year over four years for a total of $8,000. John Michael Alexander Sudworth. A $500 bursary in memory of Cody Burke from Sandra, Joe, Nicholas, and Catherine Burke. <laughs> Preston Daniel Ty, the Bayside Drive-In Limited Scholarship valued at $200, the Timmy McKinnon Bursary valued at $300, and the Dads for Grads Bursary in memory of Trevor Leadbeater valued at $500. In absentia, Darcy Elizabeth Williams, the Dads for Grads Bursary in memory of Tre Trevor Leadbeater, valued at $500. <laughs> Carly Nicole Brown. A $500 bursary in memory of Joseph G. McClellan, an Ocean Fuels Limited Bursary of $100, a $500 scholarship in memory of Michelle Curtis, the, Nuwata, the, sorry, the Scotchtown Volunteer Fire Department Bursary of $100, a Beck Faculty Award of $1,000, and a Cape Breton University Entrance Scholarship of $2,000 per year over four years for a total of $8,000. <clears throat> Rihanna Isabel McDonald. An Ocean Fuels Limited Bursary of $100, the Timmy McKinnon Bursary valued at $300, the Greenfield Home and School Association Scholarship of $500, a $500 scholarship in memory of Michelle Curtis, a scholarship in memory of Phyllis Lamy valued at $1,000, a Master Meets Golf Tournament Scholarship of $300, and a Cape Breton University Dean Scholarship valued at $2,500 per year over four years for a total of $10,000. <laughs> Jocelyn Elizabeth Wilson. The Barbara Burke Colbull Spirit Award Scholarship valued at $200. The VJ McGilvery Funeral Home Scholarship of $600. A $300 Bursary in memory of Barbara Burke, donated by the family of Barbara Burke. Uh, the Beck Band Barbara Burke Memorial Scholarship of $500. A $500 scholarship in memory of Barbara Burke, donate, donated by JC Electric Limited. A Timmy McKinnon Bursary of $300. A Beck Faculty Award of $400. And 
a Cape Breton University Dean Scholarship valued at $2,500 per year over four years for a total of $10,000. Before I do the next one, I feel like Logan missed his. I feel like Logan missed his moment. Before I stand up, Logan. <laughs> Logan William Jewer, the William Jones Memorial Scholarship of four hundred dollars and the Ben Buffett Road Race Scholarship of five hundred dollars. <laughs> He owes me a cookie. Right. Julianne Reed, also on the stage, right? Yes. Steve Lewis Auto Body Bursary of $300, the Noirford Credit Union Scholarship valued of $500, a $200 scholarship donated by Noirford and Area Retired Teachers Association, the St. Leonard CWL Bursary valued at $100, a $200 scholarship in memory of Honor Stapleton and William Power, the Malcolm Stevenson Memorial Bursary of $150, the Waterford Medical Staff Scholarship of $750, a $1,000 bursary in memory of Joseph Van Donick, a Master Meets Golf Tournament Scholarship of $300, and a University of Prince Edward Island Entrance Award of $2,000. Hannah Francine Petrie. The Nwaterford Credit Union Scholarship valued at $500, a $650 scholarship donated by the Rotary Club of Nwaterford, a $500 scholarship in memory of Michelle Curtis, a bursary of $250 donated by QP Local 5050, a scholarship of $500 donated by the Cape Breton Victoria Regional Center for Education, a Nwaterford Medical Staff Scholarship of $750, a Beck Faculty Award of $100, and a Cape Breton University President Scholarship valued at $5,000 per year over four years for a total of $20,000. <laughs> Haley Michelle Oliver, stage. <laughs> the Robert and Dora Smith Award valued at $500, an Ocean Fuels Limited Bursary of $100, the Timmy McKinnon Bursary valued at $300, the Nwaterford Credit Union Scholarship valued at $500, a $500 scholarship in memory of Michelle Curtis, the Dads for Grads Bursary in memory of Trevor Ledbeater valued at $200, a $200 scholarship donated by Nwaterford and Area Retired the Teachers Association in memory of Mike Kennedy, a scholarship of $500 donated by the Cape Breton Victoria Regional Center for Education, a Sisters of Charity Halifax Scholarship of $500, the Dr. J. Bride McDonald Memorial Scholarship of $200, King Edward VIII IODE Scholarship for the second highest grades in English of $200, and a Cape Breton University President Scholarship valued at $5,000 per year over four years for a total of $20,000. Mark Jeremy Morrison, a $1,000 scholarship donated by the Rotary Club of Nwaterford, the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 15 Allen McDonald Bursary valued at $1,000, a scholarship of $200 donated by the Nwaterford District Community Centre, the Dr. Alfred Dean Scholarship of $1,000, a Bram Schwartz Memorial Scholarship of $500, the Martin Schwartz Scholarship for Excellence in Chemistry of $100, a Beck Faculty Award of $200, a $500 scholarship from the Nova Scotia Nurses Union, New Waterford Local, and a McGill University scholarship of $3,000 per year over four years for a total of $12,000. <laughs> Joshua Thomas Cameron. The Dominion Community Hawks Club Scholarship of $200, a Kiwanis Golden K Scholarship valued at $1,000, the Calvin uh, United Catholic Women's Bursary of $200, a $1,600 scholarship in memory of Joe Hutchison donated by the Friends of Joe Hutchison, and Waterford Credit Union Scholarship valued at $500, 
a Dominion Credit Union scholarship valued at $500, a $1,000 scholarship donated by the Rotary Club of New Waterford, the East Coast Rope Limited scholarship of $200, the Tom Cummings Memorial Scholarship of $1,000, a Beck Faculty Award of $200, sorry, a Cape Breton University Lieutenant Governor's Award of $1,000, and a Cape Breton University Chancellor Scholarship of $6,000 per year over four years for a total of $24,000. Kaylee Ann McKinnon. A $500 scholarship in memory of Michelle Curtis. The St. Leonard's Catholic Women's League bursary valued at $100. The Agnes Sullivan Memorial bursary of $1,000 the Dr. Alfred Dean Scholarship of $1,000, Dr. Joseph Swartz Memorial Scholarship of $300, the King Edward VIII IODE Scholarship for the highest grades in English of $200, a Martin Schwartz Scholarship of $100 for excellent in math, and a Cape Breton University President Scholarship valued at $5,000 per year over four years for a total of $20,000. And finally, Courtney Rose DeJobe. The Kinsman Club of New Waterford Udovan Bursary valued at $500. The Champion of the Environment Scholarship donated by Divert Nova Scotia valued at $2,500. The RBC Award valued at $1,000. A $1,000 scholarship donated by the Rotary Club of New Waterford. A Dads for Grads Bursary in memory of Trevor Ledbeater valued at $200. Scholarship of $200 donated by New Waterford District Community Center. Scotchtown Volunteer Fire Department Bursary of $100. New Waterford Army, Navy, and Air Force Unit 217 Bursary of $200. The Emil Vanden Abel Scholarship in the amount of $600 given to the student with the highest average in the graduating class. Scholarship of $400 in memory of Mary McDougall donated by family and friends. The Ann Terry McClellan Scholarship of $250. A scholarship of $250 donated by the Beck Guidance Department. A Beck Faculty Award of $500. A Cape Breton University Lieutenant Governor's Award of $1,000. And a Cape Breton University Provo Scholarship valued at $4,000 per year over four years for a total of $16,000. Let's give our award winners a big round of applause. Congratulations. <laughs> to introduce our class 2018 valedictorian, I ask Mrs. Heather Carney, English department head, to come forward, please. Good afternoon, family, friends, fellow staff, and Beck graduates. Today, I have the privilege of introducing you to the valedictorian of the class of 2018. This award is given to the student who achieves the highest academic standing in the grade 12 class. In this year, that honor is bestowed upon Courtney Rose DeJobe. I've had the pleasure of teaching Courtney twice since she came to Beck, in grade eight, and again this year in grade 12 and I am quite impressed with what she's achieved in these past few years. Thinking back to when I first met Courtney, I remember her as a student who was quiet but focused. Her work was always neatly and perfectly presented with great attention to even the smallest of details, and her writing was at a level of an English teacher's dream, and it still is. Since coming to Beck in grade seven, Courtney has earned highest distinction honors each year, as well as these academic highlights. Highest overall aggregate in grade 10, the Lieutenant Governor's Medal in grade 11, and the Queen Elizabeth II Medal, which is awarded on the basis of volunteerism, community involvement, and academics. This will be added to Courtney's numerous other scholarships and awards, including the Cape Breton University Provost Scholarship, valued at $16,000. I'm not at all surprised by the awards Courtney has received, however, as she is determined, self-motivated, and always achieved to the best of her abilities. I'm also quite impressed by the fact that Courtney has maintained her high academic standing while at times working not one, 
but two jobs, and she even said at times three, while still being actively involved in volunteer activities, both inside and outside of school. I could not even begin to list the things she has been involved with in the last number of years. That alone would take multiple pages. But to give you the condensed graduation version with significant highlights, Courtney has volunteered her time at Maple Hill Manor, the Nwataford Rink, uh, she's been at the Terry Fox Run, and here at the school for the Peer Tutoring Program, for which she was the only tutor in 2016. And if it weren't for Courtney's dedication and commitment to giving her up her time after school, the peer tutoring program would have disappeared. And talk about commitment. During a time when the school was unavailable for tutoring, Courtney drove the students to the local library herself so that they could keep up with their sessions. On a personal note, what I like about Courtney is that she's easygoing, kind, and dedicated. And she moves about a group quietly doing what she needs to do without seeking any credit for doing it. She has done an outstanding job in her leadership role in our Rotary Interact group this year as well. She has been an active, dedicated member of the group since she was in grade nine. And for the past two years, she was an elected member of the executive, last year as treasurer and this year as co-president. When it came to meeting volunteers for events, Courtney was always the type of member who would volunteer without hesitation, whenever you needed her. And this year, I've really seen her develop a confidence and maturity beyond her years. She took the initiative to organize members for volunteer events in the community, and she also spearheaded a, a fundraiser for the residents at Maple Hill Manor. I always knew I could count on her when I asked her to do something. She was steady, reliable, on time, and consistent. I guess she's kind of like my own personal 8.30 whistle. We will miss Courtney next year, but I'm pleased to hear that she plans to continue to mix community involvement with her academic studies. Courtney, Cape Breton University will be lucky to have you on their campus and in their corridors as you begin your studies there in the Bachelor of Business Administration program in September with a concentration in legal studies and future plans of entering law school. So as we say goodbye to you today, we wish you academic success and the best of luck as you continue your educational journey. Ladies and gentlemen, grads of 2018, your valedictorian, Courtney Rose de Jovi. Thank you, Mrs. Carney. Family, friends, teachers, administrators, and above all else, fellow graduates, good evening. I'd like to start off by saying how incredibly honored I feel to be standing before you today representing the graduating class of 2018. And thank, thank you to each and every one of you for joining us in this celebration, the end of our high school journey. Now, fingers crossed that the fire department isn't called. <laughs> It seems as a common theme for valedictory speeches is to focus on the past, to discuss our high school experiences, our memories, and our friends. I'm certain that my experience was different from yours, though, and I'm sure that yours was different from the person sitting next to you. So instead, I want to talk about what comes next. I know what you're thinking. Isn't that also different from person to person? Yes but it's also something that all of us are facing in this moment. Therefore, I feel as though it's something we could all relate to. We're asking ourselves questions like, is this really what I want to do? Am I making the right choice? Can I do it? And is it enough? As graduates, it's now time for us to look ahead and wonder what the future has in store for us. Steve Jobs once said, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, Keep looking, don't settle. We're all about to go our separate ways. Many of us will attend college or university. Some will take a year off to find their passion. Quite a few will enter directly into the workforce and many will leave Cape Breton, never to look back. It may feel like the decision needs to be made right now in this moment, but it doesn't. Sure, there may be a handful of us sitting here thinking we know exactly what we want to do with our lives and maybe some are right, but it's okay to be wrong, and it's okay to not know. I think that Jobs was right. 
The only way to do great work is to love what you do. It's nothing new for a college student to change their degree, for someone to return to school, or to enter a profession and realize it's not for you. You don't have to settle. Jobs himself was a college dropout, and I think he still did okay. Don't ever feel like you're stuck. One of my favorite quotes is by Henry Ford, which reads, if you think you can, or think you can't, either way, you're right. I first heard this quote back in grade 10. Anyone who remembers Ness Timmons might know that he wrote a different one on the board each day. This one stuck with me, and I think it's one that many would find inspiring, no matter your situation. Maybe you really want to be a teacher. You're compassionate, you love kids, and you really want to do all that you can to help them. But you didn't have confidence in yourself through high school. You didn't take the right courses or you didn't give it your all. That's okay. You made it here regardless. And you're young. You have your entire life ahead of you. Even if it feels like you don't, you can go back. And you can still make it. And you'll be glad that you did. Allow me to read you this short, short story, The Elephant Road. As a man was passing the elephants, he suddenly stopped, confused by the fact that these huge creatures were being held by only a small rope tied to their front leg. No chains, no cages. It was obvious that the elephants could, at any time, break away. But for some reason, they did not. He saw a trainer nearby and asked why these animals just stood there and made no attempt to get away. Well, the trainer said, when they are very young and much smaller, we use the same size rope. And at that age, it's enough to hold them. As they grow up, they are conditioned to believe they cannot break free. They believe the rope is still holding them. So they never try to break free. The man was amazed. These animals could at any time break free from their bonds. But because they believed they couldn't, they were stuck right where they were. Like the elephants, how many of us go through life hanging on to the belief that we cannot do something? Simply because we failed at it once before. Failure is part of learning. We should never give up the struggle in life. Unfortunately, the author is unknown, but the moral is clear. Just because you failed once before, or because you believe that you'll fail, doesn't mean that you will. To remind you of Ford's words, if you think you can, or think you can't, Either way, you're right. Perhaps you know what you want to do, but you fear it isn't enough. It's not considered big or flashy. In that situation, ask yourself, will it make you happy? If the answer is yes, then go for it. I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the John Lennon quote that reads, when I was five years old, my mother always told me that happiness was the key to life. When I went to school, they asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wrote down happy. They told me I didn't understand the assignment, and I told them they didn't understand life. Everyone serves a purpose in life. Maybe you're the doctor that cures cancer, the cashier a lonely old lady looks forward to seeing on her day out, the lawyer that reunites a family, the paramedic that saves a child from the wreckage of a car crash, or the carpenter who builds someone's family home for generations to come. No matter what you do, do it with pride. If I cannot do great things, I can do small things in a great way. Martin Luther King Jr. Starting with our teachers, I'd like to take a moment to thank a number of individuals on behalf of myself and the entire graduating class. The first is Mrs. Heather Kearney for showing us what true kindness looks like. The world needs more caring people like you. I hope that many of us follow in your footsteps. Mr. Greg White for believing in each of us and encouraging everyone to achieve their goals. Mr. Robert White for making students laugh on a daily basis, especially when they need it most. Mr. Campbell for making the classroom such a fun and inviting place. Mrs. Campbell for engaging students with the passion she feels towards the subject being taught. There are many more. Mr. Kevin Kearney, Jason Merlin, Darnell Young, Mrs. Karen Deadder, the list goes on and I wish I could name you all. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Daniela Coyne. To me, and I'm sure many others, she has been an outstanding role model over the past two years. My parents, Galen Ralph, 
along with all of the other parents, grandparents, guardians, and family here today. You've raised us, inspired us, cared for us, and carried us to where we are now. None of us would be here without your love and support. The final thank you goes to my sister, Adrena, the most inspirational person in my life, the one I always look up to. I hope that we all have someone like that who we could thank today. The word valedictory is derived from a Latin term meaning to say goodbye. In that case, allow me to leave you, my fellow graduates, with the words of none other than Dr. Seuss. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So, get on your way. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. We now have the privilege of presenting a number of awards. Our first award is the prestigious Valedictorian Governor General's Medal, and this award is presented to the graduating student who has achieved the highest academic marks this year. This year's recipient is Courtney DeJobe. Courtney has attained the highest aggregate in grade 12. Her academic record has been truly outstanding and consistent in all three years of high school. I now, now ask Ms. Sandra Burke to recognize the outstanding academic achievement of the class of 2018 valedictorian Courtney DeJobe by presenting her with the Governor General Medal. The next award this evening is the Queen Elizabeth II Medal, which is presented to a graduate who has demonstrated superior achievement in all three years of high school and who has achieved an outstanding record of involvement in school community. This year's recipient is Courtney DeJobe. This evening, we are proud to recognize Courtney's superior academic achievements as well as her outstanding record of involvement and having Mrs. Sandra Burke present her with the prestigious Queen Elizabeth II Medal. The Principal Award is presented to the graduate who has been selected to deliver the Salutatarian Address. In addition to being an excellent academic student, this year's recipient, as outlined earlier, has been extremely involved in the service to her community and school activities and has contributed to the extracurricular life and spirit of Breton Education Centre. I'm pleased and proud to present a plaque of recognition to this year's graduation class Salutatorian Julianne Reed. The Breton Education Centre Council is led by two co-presidents. These positions are demanding and time-consuming. We have been extremely well represented this year by our co-presidents Haley Oliver and Logan Jewer. They have made such a significant contribution to the life, school spirit and relationships of our school. In recognition of their contribution, an award in memory of our former superintendent, F.G. Ongo, will be presented to Haley Oliver and Logan Jewer by Ms. Sandra Burke. Each year during graduation, we recognize an outstanding male and an outstanding female student from the grade 11 class at Breton, each of whom has commendable academic record and also has demonstrated leadership in the school and community affairs. I now ask Ms. Sandra Burke to present the Lieutenant Governor Medal to our female recipient, Robin LeBlanc. The male recipient this year is Keith Harvey. I now ask Keith to come forward and accept the Lieutenant Governor Medal from Ms. Burke. <laughs> Yearbook Editor. The Yearbook Editor is responsible for the overall content and development of the school yearbook. Though the duties are primarily supervisory, he or she cannot be above helping with the day-to-day -day task of putting the yearbook together. 
The editor must be able to manage and motivate all students and yearbook members. This position requires dedication, organization of personal time, time to be at the school functions and events, while at the same time maintaining their personal academic events and hobbies. I would like to call upon Mrs. Pin Grin Pinhorn and Mrs. Jacqueline McLeod to present the 2018 Yearbook Edit Award to Haley Oliver. I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate our graduates who obviously are a very talented and capable group of individuals. As individuals, you are hardworking and dedicated and thoroughly deserve all of your success. As a class, we've noticed how helpful you are to each other, also how you are willing to help teachers and the school community as a whole. You have pulled together many times for charity work and spirit for the school. Of course, there have been and there will always be challenges along the way, but you have shown your strength, perseverance, and resiliency, which contributes to the outstanding group that you have proven to be. Finally, before I conclude my remarks, I'd like to offer some advice. My advice to you is to cherish and protect what you've learned, what you love, and who you've become. Be wise, be safe, and be true to your roots you now get to be the unique you that you've been creating. You get to be the author of your own life, cherish, honor, and protect the ability to be sure to take the opportunity to write a great success story about happiness. You are well on your way and on your own path to personal success and happiness, and we are all so proud of you. And we are proud to work in a community that shares the values and beliefs and expectations that are reflected in the work that you've done during your time at Breton Education Center. You have done all that you were asked to do. You have qualified yourself to pursue high levels of success and happiness in your life no matter what pathway you choose. Each and every one of you are deserving of the best. As you leave Beck for the final time today, leave knowing that we are all proud of you. We are impressed by you and that we believe in you and that we are counting on you to do the best with what you've been given and to build your own lives, to help your families, to build, to help your neighbors and your communities and to use your talents, whatever they may be for, for the better good. And no matter where you go in life, no matter where you end up, be confident in yourself and be proud. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to the class of 2018. Thank you and we wish you all the best. Before closing the convocation exercise, it is, it is fitting that I express the utmost gratitude to Breton Education Center community. To name individuals would take far too long, to the students, to the many and various employees, to our neighbors, to the business community, to the Cape Breton Regional Center of Education, to all the volunteers, to the parents, and to all the persons that have contributed to the life of this community. I say it with the most sincerity, thank you. Finally, to the members of our graduating class, I ask that you remember your school fondly and that you return to visit at any time, make sure you check into the office, <laughs> but especially at your 10-year reunion in 2028, and trust me, it will be faster than you expect it to be. Please have a very enjoyable and safe time as you celebrate with your friends and family the completion of your secondary education. I speak on behalf of the staff that it has been a pleasure to have you with us at Breton Education Center, and we wish you all the best. Before I call on Reverend Jim Oliver for the closing prayer, I do have a few announcements. All award winners are asked to assemble in the library for pictures following the ceremony. Grads are permitted to keep your caps and your tassels, but the gowns must be returned to the cafeteria immediately after the graduation ceremony. And a reminder to the grads who receive scholarships and bursaries to send a thank you note to their donors. If you need the donor contact information, please check with the guidance department. They will be happy to help you with that. 
I would now ask Reverend Jim Oliver to offer the closing prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the gift of these graduates. They enter your world with your gifts in tow. Allow them always and everywhere to give of themselves for the betterment of society. We thank you for their parents and guardians, their relatives and friends, who have guided them in their journey of life. We are especially thankful for the teachers and administrative staff, and indeed the whole community of Breton Education Center, who have given of their talents so that the talents imbued by God to these students may be enhanced. We thank you for the gift of life, and we ask you to stand with us as we journey in life, so that this world of ours may be better for the fact that we have traveled through it. God bless you all, and have a wonderful life. Thank you again for attending our class of 2018 graduation ceremonies. I ask now that if we all could please stand as our Breton Education Center School Band plays the recessional to end our convocation. <laughs> 